Hey guys, and welcome and or welcome back to my channel. So this is day two of Foundation Home Week. If you missed day one, make sure to go check it out after you watch day two. For day two, I will be covering the new and $6 foundation that it seems everyone is talking about, or at least everyone has said, can you do a video on this? It is the LA Colors Truly Matte Long Wearing High Pigment Foundation. So if you wanna know more about this foundation, then just stay tuned. So like I said, this will be on the LA, LA Color LA Girl, LA Splash, and LA Colors always does this to me. I'm pretty sure I'll make that mistake again before the end of this video. But this is on the LA Colors Truly Matte High Pigment Foundation. This retails for $6 for 1.35 fluid ounces. Comes in 14 shades. I have it in the last one. I have it in the last shade, Mahogany. Let me just quickly read over the claims of this and then we can try it on. The long wearing high pigment formula applies as a liquid and blends to a beautifully matte powder like finish available in 14 shades to complement a wide range of skin tones. All right, so that is one full pump on the back of my hand. Okay, so this is what it looks like on my face. This side of my face is set with powder, this side is not. It is currently 1047. I'm gonna go about my day. I was smart this time. I learned my lesson after yesterday. I'm wearing a sweatshirt today. So I'm gonna go about my day and then come back later so you can see how this held up on my face and give you my thoughts on this foundation. Okay, so I am back and it is now 6.09. I think that's the exact time that I came back yesterday. You know, I feel like that'll just be a good time to cut these videos off. If I do uh, finish by around 10 a.m., then we get around, you know, eight hours of wear. And this is what my face looks like. So I don't remember exactly what the claims were, but I know there weren't many. Um, the long wearing high pigment formula applies as a liquid and blends to a beautiful matte powder like finish. Oh yeah, and it says available in 14 shades to complement a wide range of skin tones. So as far as long wearing goes, I do believe that. Um, the one that I tried yesterday had started separating around my nose, and I don't know if I mentioned that because you know I was so uh, upset with the whole shade thing there. Um, but I don't feel like the foundation I tried yesterday um, really does well with dry skin because um, we are getting into the colder months of the year so my dry areas which would be around here and my nose are acting up a little bit more and yesterday that could be a reason why it was separating around my nose just because it is a matte foundation which is meant more for you know oily skin but this is a matte foundation that has been doing well with my dry patches I don't have that much separation going on here with my face and it did say that it was a high pigment formula um this is a full coverage foundation but not as full coverage it is it's in between a medium and full coverage foundation like it's in between where i think like if you go half a pump with this you can get medium coverage foundation because i did a full pump of this foundation and this is the face that it got me and it is a uh, very full coverage and the last thing I think it said was that it blends to a beautiful matte powder like finish. Now when I first put this on I was like oh my god I think this is gonna be a thick uh, foundation just because I have heard everyone talk about how full coverage of foundation it was so when I first felt it I was like oh this is gonna be one of those thick I can feel it type of foundations on my face but it went on like a liquid and it um, finished like a powder uh, a matte powder again this is the side that I did set with a powder this is the side that I did not set definitely look more oily and shinier on the side that I did not set and the side that does have a powder it's been about eight hours um, but it dried down with a powder like finish to it and it is so lightweight I almost forgot I had to wrap up this video and give my thoughts on this can't feel this on your face so that is a plus here with this foundation and before I forget let me just go ahead and insert that flash test right here and inform you that there is going to be transfer with this foundation minimal but there is gonna be transfer now LA colors you don't get a pass here okay I'm saying available in 14 shades that complement a wider range of skin tones Cut it, cut it, 
Cut it. Cut it. Now see, LA Colors, I'm gonna need you to have a seat too, okay? Because we need to chat, fam. Um, this is what your foundation range looks like. It only has 14 shades. So I'm gonna need you to not make claims like compliments, a wide range of skin tones. Okay, I rebuke it. See, I'm gonna need you to just go ahead and let us know you'll be releasing more shades, hopefully, within the next year. Because that's the only issue that I have with this foundation. Now, when I first put it on, I did fear that it was too much of a red undertone for me and even now I still feel like it's a little too red you know we're getting borderline you know tomato ish I don't know I just feel like it could just be me um but with other products on top I feel like I can kind of balance that out on my face I have combo oily skin and it is still pretty you know decent when it comes to being shine free and oil free and all of that um so not only is it long wearing, but I feel like this is a foundation that does uh, good at oil control. Uh, it's the type of pigment and coverage where I feel like I can get the makeup look that I'm used to and that I would prefer. What else? It's $6 six dollars of this good of a foundation i do believe you can only get this from their website i did check other places that i know sell la colors like i kate house and i didn't see it there so maybe it's too new for it to be on there but you've got all of this you know it's doing well with my problem areas that i know my skin has such as my dryness so all of that long wearing mattes the coverage is right the price is right so i want to know how these companies feel like the only thing that people have to complain about is the same tired issue of not putting out a decent foundation shade range like i would like to be a fly on the wall in that boardroom meeting where they're looking because companies watch these videos they're watching these videos and these people are saying oh it's such a good foundation but there aren't that many shades what are we not getting here? So that is it for this foundation hunt. I hope seeing this on my face and hearing some of my thoughts has helped your decision whether or not you're gonna try this out for yourself. I like clothes, we were so close. We were so close. You just need to like double the shade range that you have, okay? Um, but it's a step up from yesterday. So, you know, we're going places here with this foundation hunt week. You did kind of restore some of my hopes here. Um, can't wait to see what tomorrow's like, but make sure to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe down below. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>